from Black Rifle. This so, message brought to you by Black Rifle. I like. Well, I wish I would have never seen it because now every time I wipe the top off. Dude, there's nothing wrong with fecal matter. I mean, you're a fecal freak. I. <laughs> That's a thing too, isn't it? Right? Yeah. yeah, it's so fucking weird. Yeah, we had a fucking uh, interpreter called Eco Man, and uh, we ended up calling him Fecal Man Ugh. for other reasons. So, anywho, guys, uh, welcome to Savage Actual. Rust, take 69. Yes. I'm Jason, this is my homeboy. Mr. Patrick, hello. Patricia hello. over here. Hello. So, uh, we're going to talk about a game called Rust. And some of you guys have played this game, some of you guys heard of this, but this is for people that have not um, as well. So this game is a multiplayer game only. There's no single player on this. It is completely online. Uh, and the premise is you basically, it's a survival fucking game. And it forces you to join in fucking clans. You have to build a fucking base and they can raid your shit. So you, it's a survival fucking game. Uh, it's Question. Better. Go ahead. I've heard in some of the comments of when we started talking about doing this, I read up on it a little bit. Once you sign up and you create your character and your guy is there at all times, right? I, somebody said something about like, oh, if you log off, your character's still hanging out or whatever. Your character's still there if you're alive. You're asleep. Okay, so where do you sleep? Wherever the fuck you're laying down. So, but people can come and fucking schwack you like when you're a schwack, and then when you log in the next fucking time, your dude's dead. Dude's dead. It says you're killed by with the weapon they killed you with. <laughs> That's so. And it basically, as soon as you log off, and you're fucking laying there, you're vulnerable. So that's why. Damn. Like, that's what makes this game pretty fucking cool. Is because it's there's no off time. The, Server, so, servers fucking wipe weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and every time there's a Rust update, which is once a month, it naturally fucking wipes the server. So up, you get up to like a fucking month. So when you f you've been playing this for a while, when you first started and you had nothing, because you start like it depends on the server. You start with nothing or everything. But you did that server. though, right? Didn't you tell me that you had started with like you started out with either like nothing? It depends on the server. So if you're playing a vanilla server and they have it set up to where you don't spawn in as a star person with usually it's just a fucking torch and a fucking rock and you're butt fucking naked. And you go up to a tree and smash a fucking tree with your rock to get fucking pieces of wood, then you run over to a piece of fucking metal ore to get some fucking metal and then you get some high quality ore at the end of that and each one of these stone metal cloth hemp fucking components to weapons you gotta put all this fucking shit together you have to smelt and you, <laughs> you dude like it's pretty so what, when you, you first put a lot of fucking work into like just trying to survive then you got mother your biggest fucking threat outside of wolves and fucking bears and npcs are fucking human players what's npcs uh a non-player it's it's a it's a character in the game, but it's uh, not a uh, real player. It's a fucking anim AI. Okay. So now, what in the beginning when you first started playing, when you would log off and fucking go to work, what would you do with your guy? Like hide him in a cave or something like that? Or, or your base? Yeah, but if you're hiding in a cave, you're out. There's wolves and bears that'll come out to you and eat you. Jesus Christ! So it forces you to really to fucking team up with somebody quick and ask them to like, hey, can I sleep in here? But it's your, the, the here that you're trying to sleep in, you can make that yourself. But what if you what if you log on? There's, you're not safe ever, no matter so how what, big what, the fucking base is. What if you like, team up with some people and you haven't really vetted these people? Yes. And you log on and they're like touching your private parts when you fucking log on. They usually say, so yeah, join us and we, they'll fucking take your shit and kill you. <laughs> like it's the most vile fucking... It is a complete exposure of like the human fucking psyche. So then I, it, it like, surprises like, me that people get upset about people doing fucked up shit in the game. And I always clown them because I'm like, yo, dude, what'd you expect? It's fucking rust. It's a game. Because people are like, oh, fucking roof campers. You're a fucking pussy. <laughs> like, it's a fucking game, dude. And if they didn't want you to fucking be on the roof, they wouldn't have given you the option to have a fucking roof. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, go play Sims. Go play the fucking Sims. Go play chess or checkers, dude. Like, shut the fuck up. You're playing a game. <laughs> like, and that's what I say to like some of these fucking kids that like start running their fucking mouth. Like, you're a fucking pussy. 
Like, I fucking beat your ass in real life. I'm like, really? I'm like, cool, dude. Uh, I run a YouTube channel. Let's, uh, I'm gonna fly you into fucking LA and we're gonna go to my fucking gym. I'm gonna beat your fucking ass and we're gonna bring you on your fucking show. And, that, and then they usually just like log off. You know what I'm saying? Or like just fucking disappear. Or some other person's like, oh, what's your YouTube channel? And they're like, oh, fuck. They're like, hey, you probably shouldn't mess with that dude, dude. And, like, and the other guy's like, yeah, fuck you both. You're both fags. And it's just like, Oh, fuck you. Like, it's pretty fucking vile. There's a lot of fucking racism. There's a lot of fucking. That's, that's. That's, that's but it's like fucking real world, man. Like, it's every multiplayer game is like that. Because you have fucking such a diverse player base of like. Well, and that's, that's eight the problem. Eight years old to fucking seven years old. And that's the problem, though, with things like this. And it, 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 I'm sure everyone will agree. Part of the issue with social media and yes. the online world right now it's the anonymity is right? the anonymity 100%. Like, I want to start a business. Because you would never say that. Where, to where face. if you do something stupid online, like you can hire my company and we'll send somebody out to this other person's house just to punch them in the face. Because that's what people or need. Or just get a picture of, oh, you look like that. Because yeah. you come across like you're the rock. Except you're like four foot fucking tall and you've seen your dick in fucking 10 years because you are a fat fuck. You know what I'm saying? So, oh but then again, God. like a lot of guys, a lot of special operations guys with a lot of combat play these fucking games too. So you never really know who the yeah. fuck you're playing with. So just Think be about cool. That. Just be cool and play the game. And like if you got drilled in the fucking head, like I'm always the dude that's like, dude, that was a good fucking shot. Like, hey, dude, you scared the fuck out of me. Where'd you come from? <laughs> and most times it's like, oh, thanks, dude. They'll type in like TYTY, -ty, like thank you, you know, or GG, which is fucking good game. So you get this diverse fucking realm of like squeaker fucking kids to fucking adults, like the server that I'm teaming up with, the rusty guys. Those guys are fucking dudes, fucking 51, 52. You know what I'm saying? It was a marine or in the, in the navy. So. It's, that, it's the freedom of it. Anyone can play these fucking games and it's not in your brain. It's just like one little fucking group. You don't think it's like high school kids playing or not, dude. Like, as you know, the demographics that actually play yeah. games. Yeah. So back to the game, we're on a tangent here. It came out in 2013 by Face Punch Studio. Uh, and I started playing the game in 2014. So there was a legacy, they call it like the legacy period and went into like the beta and alpha fucking state. So I got in right after Legacy, like two weeks after Legacy kind of transitioned to, and I actually had the game during the Legacy time and it was super fucking boring. Like, I remember just like running around and I was like, this game sucks. And then somehow like a year later, I started playing it again. And very quickly, and I started playing with some guys that I still I actually like friends with in real life, believe it or not, that I met on the game. When we became an Air Force Air officer. That's yeah, hilarious. Pretty fucking cool. So anyways, uh, the game's, you know, it's 2013 and it's almost 2022 now. The game's gone through huge iterations. You know, there's vehicles now, there's fucking aircraft. Uh, there's but that's all stuff you have to build though, right? No. Oh, no. wow. No. It's no. just, there's patrol aircraft, there's scrap helicopters that like randomly are there and you have to like fix them up a little bit to get them working and operational. That's pretty funny. You know, That'd be cool. So there, it's, it's fucking cool, man. Like, if you just want a game that's fucking violent and it's survival in a little building aspect, which I like, like, you literally have to gather shit and survive, like, I dig it. It's open world, it's fucking huge. And there's fucking automated turrets, there's like, like, dude, you can build speakers and play fucking music through the fucking speakers and annoy fucking people. Like, <laughs> you make a sleeping bag and that's if you die, you like, respawn in this fucking bag in particular. And then there's like, all these mods and plugins you can run where you can teleport, TP, to a player and they only allow you to TP. So all these servers, like I was telling you about, can tweak this shit out to how, each server is a little different depending on the admins that own the fucking server. So there's battlefield fucking servers where it's like one whack of sulfur, you're getting fucking, you know, 100,000 fucking items off of one whack. You know, you get to build all these bombs and C4 and fucking rockets. And, <laughs> dude, there's a lot too. There's like fucking, uh, you know, high fucking, there's, I'm going on fucking change here. So let's watch. There's, there's a lot so we're going to take a look, guys. This is a uh, huge a raid. raid event within the Rust world. So we're going to take a look at that and see what you think. I was saying, just to make it crystal clear, and then this was their original starter base, but this has now been taken over by the Raiders. And for some reason, everybody's on hold. Is everyone legit waiting to start? This is amazing. Hi, Mikey Poo. Howdy. Mike, you need to cite your 
Dumbass. Uh, Can I interru what? interrupt? So he's floating because he's an admin. Free raid interview. This is this is like his yeah. his yeah. server. <laughs> so he's recording it. Well, basically, how you guys feel about the raid? Do you, do you think uh, you think you got a chance? Horrible. Oh, we're gonna lose. Absolutely horrible. Yeah. 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 We're gonna lose. Yeah. These are all real players. Uh, that's gonna be an easy clap. So the rest of the base is what they're trying to destroy. What is your the other base? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh man, like, like Mike, regular. Mike, I love you. Mike, Mike, regular. Mike. Lay's up, yellow bag. That's where it's at. I mean, they sound like. A nine. <laughs> it is. It's nine to like fucking Yo, six. Well, dudes, are you just watching the raid? I don't Maybe. even know what's yeah, going on. Bro. Someone said TP here, so I TP. <laughs> this is the best. Oh no, I'm getting lasered. No, 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 don't We're get lasered. I'll this shoot shit. them all. I mean, I'm laughing because like they're half to like. Oh hi. Here's my, hugs. My, 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 corona like, hug. Got, corona hug. Hi. I got 50 DBs ready. Corona hug. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, all right. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> oh my lord. Um, so right off the bat, who do I think is gonna win? I think OG is gonna win. But it's actually in terms of- So that's of what they're trying to take down the big castle looking thing, right? I think so. God damn it. I don't know how many are on- Oh, good Christ. Look at that. That's so he's- Since he owns the server, he's kind of- all of that- He's, like he's got, the, got the god oh, power. Oh he's got the god power to see what they actually have. That's a big fucking base. So it is now started. Start of the raid right there, fellas. Yes, it is. Uh-oh. Oh, no. These things do not fit my hair. Oh my god, it's amazing! And it's just those few people that built that that are trying to what are they do? Why are they go after the other one. Yep. It's a raid. There's oh their fucking protection. Okay, hype, hype, the gate's down. I honestly, are they- I don't know how they're gonna handle this. Alright, so- Oh shit! They're hitting the external walls. Oh my god, this is crazy. So they're oh. running up and hit building oh, walls. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I saw that one pop up, pop up, that's protect fire from them. Something, but there's so much happening, it's kinda hard to get it all. Like, everyone out there that hasn't played this game, like, give this game about 200 hours of play. Jesus Christ! Which isn't a lot, dude. It's not, it's not a lot. I had fucking 1600 hours. Give it a fucking while, like, did you like, it's violent as fuck. Punch of high externals up, make that five guys. Um, they're probably just waiting for a time to push, but man, that's gonna be iffy. Jesus, this is crazy. You can make sniper rifles. This is magnificent. Bazookas. I don't know why I went for that barbed wire. You know, a rocket they... launch is actually what it's called oh. a game. Oh. You can make armor to wear. Like, it's oh. violent. Dude. It's this funny that some of them will run around with nothing. Okay, so they like, this one's a teleported in. Oh, Jesus. I should have said, like, in terms of the design, there's no entrance to this base on the first floor. The entrance is, is that... actually exactly where they're going. You remember the cupboard that I showed you earlier? Yeah. Once they own that, so you can basically take power. You now own that, that little section. Oh wow, they're, they're making short work of these garage doors, which is nice to see. Now let's take a look. How close are they to the loot? They've got a ways to go because, um, once again, the loot room is on so the So it's all about hit points. Doors. So these so stone... Gonna, they... Stone walls are really easy to knock out. Yeah. Armor... Those things look like they're almost made of freaking solar panels or something right. on the inside. So we got one player here, still doing work so on... So in order of, like, weak to are. strong, uh, you've got oh. wood, stone, oh. sheet metal, oh, and armor. Stuff got. Oh, crap, it's four all up here. It takes uh, fucking 8 C4 to blow a wall down oh, this armor. The, uh, it takes 2 C4 oh, to hell blow yeah. a wall down wall. Oh, wow. Excuse me, boss. Wow, so. nicely done. So they could level this whole fucking thing. That was impressive. But um, when you go in, as, and you're like loaded with a bunch of fucking so weapons and sides. attack gear, raid gear, and you could die. You lose oh, all your shit that's on you, and then the, the big people that are there. Oh defending you go take here. your fucking I shit. It's been long enough. I'm about to lose this here, here bus again. Okay, they gotta open it's again. Like, do not fit my fucking hair. And let's see. Wow, so damn, a little bit more this is gonna this. be tough. Already, the defenders have repaired this back up. Man, look at those bodies. So. Defenders are really trying well, to get the base see who, so. back up as quickly as possible. Oh, Excellent the job. defenders, okay. Yep, so they're and, on the inside with fucking the numbers they have. items. Yeah, they got it's like, I don't see many of these defenders. Like, okay, is that them right there? While still stuff is yep, happening those are defenders. Up above, right? We got lots of defenders up here still, I believe. It's a rocket launcher. 
Oh wow, look at that. Good for the Raiders. Oh, uh, you see more they stuff. Those are sand missile sites, so people are flying in on copters. They're gonna get drilled out in the sky. And this time they're just pummeling it. I guess they want to make sure they've got some way to get in, which makes sense. I would guess they're just trying to sort of ignore the PVP and just get as deep into the base as possible. But that's really risky. <laughs> Their legs floating. What the, the hell? It's like stuck in the wall. Oh my god. So the raiders are just pummeling this wall. But the defenders are not stopping. Everybody's throwing rockets right now. Oh wow, they're using the defenders tossed incendiaries, which makes sense. Great use of them. I wonder how God. long how long this these raids go on for. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the defenders were trying to repair, but no. Nope. So they're lighting everything on fire now. Shut down. So it'll keep, but it will burn realistically. Like it'll burn up wood. It'll lose points. Yeah. It fucks you up. Oh snap! If you run into they it. made it. Jeez, burned you. So that is, I do believe, the core of the base. Uh, somewhere here. Let's take a look. Oh no, my bad. They got. They still got a bunch of layers to go. So there's armor there. That's gonna to take a fuck ton of rockets. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Oh, the defenders repaired it up a bit. Damn it. Man, I don't know how the Raiders have this many rockets. That's been at least a hundred rockets by now for sure. And they're <laughs> they still got like they're still like halfway. Rip. So this is sort of a repeating thing. The Raiders. It's funny that the guy that runs the server the way that he's like this so god character that can see everything. Yeah, he's watching, watching, and recording. We'll see if they'll be able to afford it. Uh, but this is this is getting expensive. Damn, look at that. So we still got some uh, some players watching this raid, by the way. Pretty fantastic. And uh, it is becoming daytime, which means probably some gunfire should should start up again. That's hilarious. Oh man, okay, so it's daytime. And most of the raiders' progress has been lost. I'm hearing way it? less rockets. Ooh, probably just some PvP now. Oh, I don't know what, what this... I don't know what this defender is thinking, but... Oh uh, man, I have a feeling this raid is over, which is kind of crazy. Um, I just checked my Discord, so apparently it was a 10v12 uh, in favor of the defenders. So yeah. there's that. And then I got another message apparently that it's over and that they have no more rockets. So, so 10 we'll raiders versus we'll 12 see. defenders. The amount of bloodshed that just happened in such a short time is crazy. Oh man, look at that. Ooh, that. I think that just sides it. I think that pretty much says the end of it right there. Just Even their entry point is gone. Who's that? Ray defense in my sleep. I didn't even have my monitor yeah, on. <laughs> I didn't even have my monitor on, boys. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god, that's sweet. Okay, uh, I've been watching here for a little while and not much has happened. Um, the base is fully repaired, more or less, uh, and Those are windmills, point, so they're generating the power, goes into a pad uh, battery bank, on the offensive, but and it not runs really for equipment shit. Really? Yep, just, lights. That's crazy. Garage doors. Stage of the raid, you know? Uh, what do we think? Is this, uh, is this a GG? It's, 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 yeah, low key, this is pre it's pretty much over. R.I.P. We're just kind of hoping that they're gonna raid this, so I can kind of pad my PvP kills a little bit. <laughs> That's funny. Thoughts on the raid? Uh, uh, basically, we're just better than them. I would like to say sweet carried. <laughs> sweet what? Yeah, I mean, listen, Mike. If I had to give you a post-game interview, it really just comes down to we're better than them. Yeah. My AK spray. If I had to give you a post-game interview, I've trained with Master Shifu from the village, <laughs> hidden in the leaf. Uh huh. Uh, I just want to say, if you can put this in your video for me, Alyssa has a tiny cock emoji on top, and oh uh, I Lord. like to make my mom. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we will now take a minute to game. listen to our clan's national anthem <laughs> in honor of our victory. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Uh oh, hey, baby apple. If it's your anthem, sing along with it. 
<laughs> oh shit, hold on, I got kicked from Discord. Yeah, oh so my lord. Um, I'm better than Sweet, and um, Sweet's a really trash player, but I've been carrying him. He's got a microphone. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so, so pretty much, uh, Sweet ran out with rockets just now, and that's why they're raiding us again. And, yeah, this is a bunch of like stuffed animals in the ground. Yes, it's weird. There's a and lot. Now I gotta fucking carry the team again. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll fight them with my torch. Come on, oh Mikey, my let's go. These let's people go. are weird, man. Come out and fight me. I have a fucking torch and I'm not scared to use it, you little shits. <laughs> Come the fuck out, you pussies. I have a torch. What? <laughs> Get your ass over That's here. That's the thing that cracks me up too about some of this stuff is like Come these kids that are like. They're. they're I'm sure your mom and dad this, love your language. Oh shit, dude, oh shit! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> dude, dude, you're cheating! You're cheating! You're cheating, dude! You're cheating! What the fuck? Dude, you cheated! Okay, follow me, follow me. We'll go to the arena. Follow me, follow me. Really? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> See, that's us. That's fucking right. <laughs> It's, oh, it's who gets business. the drop on the other person first, and it's like, well, he, 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 uh, it's like mind warfare. He's like, I don't have anything basically. I just have a torch, and he just like grabs fucking AK from his blossom. Shoot downs. <laughs> it's like my my manipulation. Like, hey, dude, we're friendly, we're friendly, and then you just fucking whack everybody. If anything's actually gonna happen. Oh my god. Okay, um, I've been watching this uh, other attempt here for a minute. Nothing's happening, guys. I'm sorry. I'm calling it. Uh, I'm gonna say that's the end of the raid. So, in conclusion, what happened? Um, man. It was a pretty fair raid in a lot of ways, but at the same time, the base design put the, put the defenders at such an advantage. I think their biggest problem was getting caught up in this mess here. And, uh, the defenders were just- it was too easy to just pummel this tunnel and stop the raiders from getting through. Um, I don't know how you could have done that better. Um, I think they should have been smarter. I think they- I think they could have done it had they done things differently. What do you think the Raiders messed up well, on the most? Would love it could have been- thoughts. It, they could have won if they had done things tactics, differently. Right? Uh, hopefully you That's guys- some commentary right there. ...watching these. Um, love doing raid cams. They're so cool. Anywho, that it's is gonna funny. be the end of this epic raid cam. What a joy right, to so watch. That was so many problems. That's a little snippet of rust. You know, it's one little facet of rust. But really, the whole thing is survival. And you're just trying to- So this, this seems like a server though where, like, I mean, the, the stuff that these guys have built is crazy. It's, yeah, so like they, half this is one of those servers where you can build stuff a lot quicker. You have a lot more capability. I don't think this is quicker at all. By the look of it, if it was quicker, it'd be the whole thing would be an armor. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, this, this is like, Maybe a ten times server or a five times server where it's like five times the rate of normal gathering. So right. it's all gather rates. So battlefield servers are like a thousand times. So each hit is like you're just getting a fuck ton. So this looks to be just by the look of it, they don't see much armor at all. They have armor, small bit of armor around the it's corner. It's all on the inside, yeah. Yeah, so this is a, a pretty you know, like average fucking server gathering, you know, probably five, ten times again, but you know it's they do have, most of them are PvP servers. There is PvE where they, they turn off person versus per person and they just, it's all about building a base and they just survive against the elements. So wow. that's crazy. really fucking boring, but I'm a battlefield server guy. It's fucking intense. It's just mad chaos. There's explosions fucking everywhere. So um, this is a little bit slower pace, but when you lose a fucking base like this, I mean, that's a lot of fucking time. Like yeah, who, who that's knows, crazy. The gap, the time isn't gathering, and then like building it out, and then. But the thing is, you're never fucking safe. Like this game, as soon as you log off as a character, your character in the game is still alive, asleep, wherever, wherever the fuck you were standing, it lays down. <laughs> that's 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 hilarious. So that's like, crazy. It's smart to build a fucking armored ass base that's like highly protected, but again, you're never safe. It's all like risk mitigation. Right. So crazy. There was 200 fucking people on the server all the fucking time. Like you're never safe. So, yeah, huge, huge fucking fan. I'll get you. So, do you want to talk about what you potentially want to do with uh, the Rust server that you're we're looking at for Savage Actual? Yeah. So, I did start a server, and I'm fucking around with like 16 different plugins. 
Uh, it is public at this point, but I'm gonna team up with some guys and we're going to create uh, a hybrid, because they, they've been doing this for a long time and they're pretty versed in it. So they want to help us out. Uh, one was a veteran himself. So we're going to create a special server and host events and do big stuff. So maybe have some big ass prizes and shit. So it'll so, be a savage actual. So stay like very tuned in the next few weeks. So uh, what we'll do is on. we'll provide updates. Make sure you guys are following us on the YouTube channel. Uh, we'll provide updates on our community tab and on our Instagram for updates on the Savage Actual Rust server. And you guys can get to be a part of this and get wild and crazy. And we will both be on there. Yes. Patrick's going to get a laptop very soon in the next couple weeks. And uh, he'll be on the game as well. Yes. So we'll do a little hide and seek. We'll maybe get an all pink or some shit. And That'll be cool. Spray paint it there and run around. Sweet. So it's going to be fun. Big fan. Love to see you guys on here. So thanks for watching. Get this game. Stay savage. See you guys. Bye.